Hello and welcome to this week's video. This week we have something special. And I've been saying that a lot lately. It's been kind of a, a decent run of cars. Uh, this week we're we'll probably already tell by looking at it, but we're looking at the Volvo S60 Recharge. This is the latest in a long line of Volvos that I've tested in recent months, kind of almost their entire lineup. Interestingly, next week I have the X60 Recharge, which will kind of round it out, well, most of it anyway. I think I actually have a third one coming later, um, about a month on down the road. The cool thing is, this is yet another winner. This is another first and foremost good looking Volvo. Look at this thing. It is stunning. You remember when Volvos were kind of ugly? You know, sort of horrible Scandinavian boxes. We respected them because they were well made and they were safe, but man, they were pig ugly. But this thing, I mean, look at this. Oh, it's just fantastic. Holy smokes. And it's a four door sedan. It's a boring box, right? This isn't supposed to thrill us, but it does. Well, it thrills me anyway. I love it. I can't remember what this color is called because I can never remember the names of the color, but even the white color is awesome. It's got a pearl in it or whatever they're doing with it. And it looks awesome under the full sun today and it is very sunny today oh this has a wonderful shine to it and kind of a strange character when you look at it from a certain angle love i, I like it I, I would go red but it's it's a great color nevertheless uh, the face well yeah i mean it's it's stunning isn't it right it's got it's got the subdued uh, volvo grill it's got the thors the now ubiquitous thors hammer the headlights etc this has the black package blackout package whatever it's called so it's got black trim and you know etc to be honest i think that might be one of my few criticisms of this vehicle i know that's a trend right now the black package by the way also gets you these are they 20 inch 20 inch rims i believe um but you get all this piano black everywhere. Everywhere you might usually get, in this case, body color or perhaps chrome here along the trim, you get black and it's piano black. And you know how much I hate piano black. Everybody hates piano black. It looks good for 15 minutes and then it gets scratchy and especially on the outside when you're washing it. I don't know how you'd care for this long term. I don't know about that. Otherwise though, I mean, it does look good, so I'll give you that, but yeah, this is, a, man, it is just a stunning looking car. Abs beautiful proportions. It's got the sort of, it all, everything's in the right place, if you know what I mean. Just, ah, man, so good. So good. Don't you guys love it when I get excited? I don't even know what to say anymore. Um, let's look at the trunk. You guys remember what trunks are? Yeah, they come in cars. Really cool. So this one got a decent sized trunk in it. Um, you, yeah, you can get golf clubs back here. It's not quite as big as uh as i was expecting it to be but more than suitable the cool thing about volvos is they give you all these mats they kind of they come with all their cars and it protects the carpet um the carpet in the trunk here is a little a little steel woolly so keeping it as clean as possible is probably best and the blackout see this is more evidence of the blackout package all the letters and stuff are in black but that's it and for 1500 bucks or whatever it costs i'm not sure i'd go that way let's take a look at the back seat shall we all right, so let's slide myself back here. This is actually the first time I've been in the back seat. I have to shoot this video a little earlier than I usually do in the process. So in the back seat, first thing that you sort of notice is this hump here. Obviously, this is the drive shaft to provide the car with all-wheel drive. It's interesting. <laughs> Look at this. What is that? It doesn't, as far as I can tell, it doesn't clip in or anything. It just sort of sits there. It's weird. I'm not sure if that's the way it's supposed to be or if something happened and people didn't fix it anywho you get heated seats in the back you get a 12 volt oh sorry that's not a 12 volt pardon me two usb c's you got me on that one volvo that's why that's why you go through these things before you present the car um oh as is uh, standard with volvo you get pillar vents these are very cool i like those i think they're great uh they're cool coming out of here too but that i mean you could aim it right at your face if you wanted to it's it's nice i like that uh, little coat hanger i think it's a coat hanger there yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, so center console, as usual, armrest. And where's the cup holder? Oh my God. Boom, cup holders. Um, saw this in, was it the Mercedes C300? Maybe a couple of different Mercedes. They do it like this. Isn't bad. It doesn't feel too flimsy, but I would be concerned that my kids would tear that apart in no time and they would have fun doing it. Um, and that is the back seat. Let's get up front. 
turn this thing on because I am sweating through my gray t-shirt. Luckily, I don't go on camera so you guys don't have to see it. It is very warm today, right around 30, 34 degrees Celsius, which is a wee bit strong, as they say. So let's turn the car on. You get the twisty, the Volvo twisty start and stop thing, which kind of, I don't know, takes the place of the, if you will, the start and stop button, I guess. Here, I'll turn the, the, the AC down. Come on, there we go. So what do we get? Well, we get what what is, I believe, the only steering wheel that Volvo makes. <laughs> no matter what Volvo you buy, this is the one you're gonna get. So it's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, it's and again, it's that bare Scandinavian steering wheel. There's really nothing going on here uh, that you don't need. And that's cool, I like that. I've often commented that I really like the sort of Spartan nature, if you will, of, uh, of the Volvos. And yeah, I mean, it continues in this car as well. Um, you get the, the cool Space Fighter vents that you get um, in pretty much the entire Volvo range. I guess if that's a criticism um, of the interior, I could, it's very much same of the same, if that makes sense. Not that that's uncommon in the business. I mean, you see it, you know, it's hard to find a bespoke interior, isn't it? You know, everybody kind of recycles everything for the most part. So yeah, and it's, and it's good, it's a good interior. So I'll give it a pass. Um, let's, let's address the dash cluster here. Again, they only make one. So you get your speedo on the left, you get your tachometer, or in the case of this one, cause it's a plug-in hybrid electric, you get the uh, electricity gubbins right there. So it tells you how much regenerative braking you have, how much juice you're using, all this kind of stuff. You also get a battery meter at the bottom, right above the fuel, the fuel meter there. Um, interestingly, it's, I don't know, it's weird. Uh, the gas, which I've used very little of while driving this car, when it first when I first started it, it said 840 to empty, and then I drove it about 50k on the gas engine. Now it's 340. I don't know what to make of that. So anyway, because um, so far I have covered a total of 240 kilometers over the course of about four days. So most of that's electric, most of it. Uh, so this is actually your odometer. You hit the little button here and it takes you straight to it. And again, you can't really do anything with it other than reset it or close it. So we'll close it for now. Um, let me think, oh, sorry. The, uh, the center section is the only adjustable bit. And again, in that grand Scandinavian fashion, on or off, and that's it. that is it. Uh, I do like having it in the middle, it's kind of nice. Uh, you can get it here in the, in the Google built-in, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, well, let's get to it right now, shall we? What the hell? Um, so the Google built-in, uh, yes. Regular watchers, um, and some of my, my Volvo videos have been very popular, for my little channel anyway. You all know that this is not a great system. This we know, it hasn't really changed. I'm not gonna complain. It is usable, so I'll give it that. Um, this one has not flickered. The last Volvo I had was the V60, and the one in that thing was, that was in trouble. But this one so far has been very stable. It works. You kind of, you get your, you get, the only tough part is all your HVAC controls are in here. And that is a little frustrating. Sometimes this, uh, this button here in the middle is not as reactive as you'd like it to be. Of course, it's gonna work perfectly now that we're on camera, but, um, and then you've got heated seats, heated steering wheel in the case of this one, three settings on the heated steering wheel. That's cool, I like that. Um, and then again, this is a very basic sort of Android based operating system. There really isn't much to it. Uh, CarPlay, etc., cetera, is uh, by wire only, so I don't use it. Um, the native system's better anyway. So especially with the screen orientation, it just seems to work better with the, the basic native system. You get driver options, of course. Uh, this is the main screen you'll use for the most part. This is where you get your, you select your drive modes. You can do pure, I love the name pure. That's all electric. So it only uses the electric uh, motors. Uh, power is where we'll get to that later. I'm looking forward to that because yeah, we'll discuss the power of this particular vehicle. Hybrid, kind of for everyday driving, if you will. Uh, if you're not gonna be charging it again, um, it sort of, you know, it switches between the two depending on what it needs. And constant all wheel drive is probably the thirsty, other outside of power, the thirstiest of the settings. And it's always sending lots of power to all four wheels, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you can ch tinker with the battery, the settings, how you want to start up, all the usual stuff. You know, it's Google built in, that's about it. Um, cup holder, the little twisty start-stop thing, which I used to not like so much, but I'm getting used to it and it's actually 
it's a pretty solid solidly built little mechanism so yeah it hasn't fallen apart like i would have expected it to um yeah it feels very solid under and you get this little shifter here which is funny I, it's got a hole in it and sometimes they come in crystal i can't remember what vehicles get crystal and which ones don't but this one just has leather wrapped which is my preference um you get this is funny i guess because of that drive shaft i was talking about you do not get much of a center console do you that is uh here for measurement sake let's see my phone fits and that's about it so yeah yeah you're not gonna be able to put much in there a few receipts maybe a mcdonald's wrapper or three but that's about it uh you get a panel roof in every trim level of this car you get the oh excuse me hit my head uh, you get the panoramic roof. I hope you guys can see that. It's nice. It's great, actually. Uh, it's sort of a half panel in the back. It's not a full panel, but of course, this 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 is a sporty car, isn't it? So the roof tapers in the back, and it's probably why they uh, they went with a half panel. But it's great, even in the base model, which is the one I would buy. Uh, you get the panel roof. Very ah, worked great. Okay. So yeah, and you get this slider mechanism. So you touch it to vent and open and um, slide it to open and close this thing in the. The sunroof, yeah, mostly works. I would have appreciated maybe just a regular button to help out, but that's okay. Let's not, let's not be picky. So we should drive the train. When it comes to the plug-in hybrid electric stuff, Volvo really only has one from what I can tell. I was perusing their website yesterday. And when you get into the plug-in hybrid electric vehicles, this is what you get. And let me pull, let's start driving and I'll yammer on about the drive trains. So, when it comes to plug-in hybrid electric, you get a two liter turbo, and then you get a, what is it, 17 kilowatt motor, something like that. Um, and of course, in conjunction, they generate 455 horsepower. Hold on, I'm gonna stop driving here. I just want you guys to absorb that for a second. 455 horsepower. It's beautiful, isn't it? I mean, it is, and it is awesome because you get, you have almost no, no lag because of the electric component and then the gas engine kicks in and you just pull, 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 pull. It's absolutely fantastic. Before I start driving, let me put it into fun mode, otherwise known as power. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh, did you guys hear the engine kick in? Oh yeah. Now we're talking. It's time to internal combust a little bit. So as I was saying, when you use all the all the systems at the same time, which is what power mode does, um, it also tinkers with the suspension, if I'm not mistaken. You get 455 horsepower. You also get over 500 pound-feet of torque. 500? That's a lot. It truly is. I'm going to find a space to do a run, but I wonder if that's a police officer behind me. I can't tell. So we'll keep it nice and, uh, nice and sane. So for the time being yeah that is a police officer um hold on i'll be back all right we are back sorry about that uh as it turns out that was a police officer uh did not pull me over or anything but uh did <laughs> did pass me i'm glad i took the camera off my hat before i attracted any undue attention i never quite know how they're going to respond to that so uh, probably discretion is a better part of valor. Is that the expression? Anywho, uh, back to this Volvo. So this hybrid electric, uh, plug-in hybrid electric powertrain delivers that 455 horsepower I was talking about. And did I mention the 500 and some odd pound feet of torque? Well, if I didn't, I did now. And yeah, I mean, for a car like this, it's completely unnecessary, but man, is it fun. This is kind of a, what we would have called um, when I was a kid, a sleeper, right? I don't know if you guys still use those, uh, that, that expression these days, but man, this thing just goes. It is really cool. Um, and <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to find a quiet place on this. Now I'm all spooked because the cut, the fuzz is around. Uh, <laughs> but let's make sure we're in the right setting here. Make sure that didn't change on me. Yeah, we're still in power. Okay. So I just want to give you guys uh, a little taste of what 455 horsepower feels like when you pin it from a stop. So here we'll, that's actually perfect if we can do it right here. Yeah, that should do. Okay, and are we ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, 
Evans. Man, did you guys hear the tires? I chirped them. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. Um, I don't often chirp the tires or peel rubber or do smoke shows or any of those other colloquialisms. Um, oh, that was awesome. Holy smokes. I wonder, I'll try and time that out. I'm horrible at that when I do, when I edit these videos, but I'll try and figure out how long it took. Uh, what is that Tesla doing? I thought those things drove themselves. Anyway, um, yeah, that was elect <laughs> forgive me, electric. Uh, that was very thrilling and very fast, and it pushes you back into the seat. But the all-wheel drive system kept me dead straight. There was no, there was no moment where I went, oh God, I'm gonna die. Volvo's gonna be upset with me for crashing their car. Nothing, right? It was just, it was super smooth. Very, oh man, it was planted, right? I think is the word I'm looking for. It was great. Uh, this thing just, just hauls, man. It pulls and pulls and pulls. You don't, yeah, it's, you can't call it a sports car, or can you? I don't know. Um, you know, for me, sports cars are two, two doors, rear wheel drive, blah, blah, blah. But uh, this thing is, it certainly has sporting pretensions and it delivers on them. It's, uh, yeah, it's fantastic to drive. You know, I've been sloshing it all over, um, all over the place for the last four days and it's just, oh, it's so great. Reminds me, you know, of how I felt when I was driving the V60. I know, a wagon. Um, but this has way more power, of course, which means it's a lot more fun. Uh, but it's just so stable, right? Predictable, where you, wherever you point the nose, it's going to go. Um, yeah, Volvos aren't supposed to drive like this. I really, really approve of what they're doing these days. I, man, oh man, uh, God, it's good. Holy smokes! And did I mention you can have this for fifty-five, just under fifty-five thousand dollars Canadian? Oh, I know that's a lot of money. Don't get me wrong, but all things factored in, what you get for that fifty-five thousand dollars is awesome. You would never be unhappy with this car. You'd never be bored, right? And it's all-wheel drive. You can drive it all year long. Slap some snowies on it. You'll never get stuck. It's it's beautiful. You know, I, oh man, I just I yeah. There's so few reasons to dislike this car. So few. Now, as I said, this, uh, the S, the, uh, <clears throat> the S60, excuse me, my brain stopped for a second, uh, starts, as I said, just under $55,000. This as tested is $64,000 Canadian. And I believe if you go full pop, every option, etc., it's about $70,000 Canadian. So yeah, I mean, Man, if you were to go German with something like this, I mean, you're looking at way more money, you know, and I'm not sure you're going to get more power. I'm not sure you're going to get a better driving experience. Um, you get a fancier interior, admittedly. Uh, you know, the Scandinavians keep it simple, but I like that, personally speaking. I don't like, you know, you look at some of the current Mercedes and they're just, I mean, they're neon light shows in there. It's like going to the disco, right? It, forget it. It's just too much. So this, for me, works great. Um, and it's good value, too. You know, it's a Volvo. It'll last a long time. So, you know, as long as you don't do too many full-on peeling starts. But anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, I don't know. It's, again, you know, if you're looking for a, a vehicle in this class, you have to consider this, you know, because it just delivers. It's really fantastic. Um, what else can I say? Holy smokes. I've sort of, um, competitors, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of different cars that you could, you know, you could throw up against this. Um, not a lot of them. You know, yeah, man, a lot of Volvos, they were engineered to sit in very specific parts of the market. Um, and this one does that absolutely. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't know what else to say. This car's fantastic. It, yeah, I, oh man. Yeah, give it a drive. I promise you will not be disappointed. You know what, I'm gonna turn around and go back the other way. Um, yeah, sorry. I should have more to say, but I'm just blown away yet again by a fantastic Volvo. I'm very surprised. I'm just very pleasantly surprised by their offerings. And this, you know, as a car, you get a car. That's something I can say. You know, this is a four-door sedan. A little hard to get in and out of sometimes for somebody of my dimensions, but otherwise it's, yeah, I mean, it's really fantastic. You know, you, super low center of gravity got lots of power uh it's good looking handles great uh yeah just oh man go drive one absolutely fantastic that's gonna do it for us i just wanted to give you guys a uh you know a what's what on this particular vehicle so i hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you on the on the next video